Hello and welcome, this is Rather Reading This, and today I'd rather be playing Icarus. We started this a little while ago and then had issues with my machines crashed and the game wouldn't load the character and but they fixed all those problems and they had a whole lot of new quite exciting updates and just so I decided to try that again. We're going to have Alan in a new world. We'll try sticks this time. Create the new world. Zania. Claim that asset. And then, although I do have some environmental suits, because I've prayed previously, I'm not going to use any of those. I'm going to kind of do a new run. So anyone following and wanting to start from the same time, a kind of a tutorial vibe, you know, they can do that too. I'm going to start here by the Great River. Um, the desert's very dry and hot and difficult. Um, snow biome is also difficult, etc. A good starting place, especially if I'm doing a bit of a beginner tutorial, would be the Great River. You've also got this ring lake to the side, etc. But it's a bit of a more limited biome to start with. So. We'll start with the Great River. And here we go. Fire in the window. Me falling on the phone. And we've got touchdown. Oh. Great. Where are we? Okay. Take our bearings for a bit. Have a look at the map. Right, so we're just near the Great Lake. Oh, so that's the Lake here close to us. We go this way a bit. And stand on the cliff and have a look around. Good morning. Sun is shining. Oh, happy days. Okay. First thing we need to do is start collecting sticks and stones. Because this is a survival game and that's what you do in the beginning of each of those. And here's what we're going to need some of these oxide. Um, oxide you can use for um, creating oxygen, which you will need. At the bottom you'll see there's oxygen, food and water. All those lovely things that we need. Grab these trees for fire. These small bushes, I mean. Lots of sticks. Up the cliff is really good for this type of stuff. Get some berries from the berry bush. And sticks and things. Oh, oh, that again. Jump on the box so we can have a good look around. The animals are open? No. Okay, let's go into our crafting menu and get a stone pickaxe. And an all axe. We've crafted some tools. Hooray! Right. Um, we're going to need kind of a basic campsite. Oh, there's some animals. Well, I think this little area is a very good place to start. In the beginning. 
and we can't build any shelter yet. But um, well, this rock here is a really good place to start. It's um, you see, it's quite large, overhanging on the one side. If you crouch down and end at the bottom, it would mean you can um, bag a bit. You can dig out a little hole, which you can use for shelter in case of a storm. We've got to come back. And what we can do is we've got some berries. So if we eat some berries, We'll see that the status means you've got a little bit more extra stamina. The maximum stamina plus 50 and water consumption comes down as well, which is great. Um, you can stack up to three things in your food. So three different um, food effects giving you different bonuses. Okay. Let's not dig all the way through. We do have a bit of a shelter in case of a storm. Over here, right. we got another smaller spot. And great, we've got our first level up. Stand up here, take a check around, and make sure there's nothing nasty creeping up on us. And we'll look at our tech tree. Now, what I like to do in the beginning is try get the wooden bow and the stone knife. Um, that's quite important. Um, so we can try and get some furs. We want to try and get this bedroll, which will be 20 furs, and we'll allow you to skip the night. Otherwise, that can be a little challenging. I'd like to get the campfire so that I can cook anything that we've done there. Now, talent points. Tenor points is broken down into four areas. There's survival, adventure, habitation, and combat. Um, and each of those have got all these their uh, sub things in it. So it's quite a quite an extensive uh, talent tree that you've got here. Um, one of the things I like to do in the beginning is definitely get your stamina up as soon as possible. Um, these little hunting sensors for sensing animals is very very helpful um what i like to get early as well is to try and get all the way down here to this food pyramid which gives you an extra active food buff i find that very useful being able to do that so especially a little bit later on when you can start cooking some more extra stuff um it's got useful things like uh, the, the, the food rate not food uh, spoiling so fa uh, fast which is quite handy. Um, other good things is maybe dense packing, increasing your weight capacity, especially in the early on in the game where you're carrying a lot of stuff. But for now, I'm going to increase your base stamina. Stamina seems to be the one thing that's always running out in the beginning. Other thing to mention is when you're playing solo, you've also got the solo tree. Um, to kind of help you out because you don't have a team to revive you and that kind of stuff. So there's some also quite handy things. And you'll get that at every other uh, level. Right. So all the even levels. So level 1, so level 2, level 4, level 6, you'll get a solo point. Um, I believe. Stand corrected. Okay. Let's chop some wood. Um, we have to our inventory. Yes, okay. Grab some of the stuff. Now these small trees, it you know, the axe gives you far more sticks than it does. You, you can just harvest them by hand, but harvesting them with the axe gives you more uh, sticks actually, um, which is quite useful. Okay, chop down a tree. Hmm. I'll put that into the river. Timber.
tear the area a little bit around that. What a nice little split. And chop, 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 chop. There's another perk a little bit later on which allows you to automatically pick things up, which is quite handy. Um, necessary? No, not really necessary. Handy? Very handy indeed. Okay, I'm going to drop down. Feel very good for getting early experience. And wood is always handy. We wanted to keep an eye out for predators, especially wolves, because, well, wolves are dangerous, but we also want to kind of have them. You'll see that there's some carrots around, and over here there's some watermelons. I'm very wary of them, but I'm not grabbing them to eat at the moment. Um, so I don't really need it and I'd like to save those up so a bit later when I can grow them I can grab them and replant them and then kind of have an inventory and supply of them. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft here a, a wood pile. It kind of gets it out your inventory and uh, We can kind of create a little bit of a barrier here. I don't know how useful it is, but it's quite good. Um, also, I can make that fire, but now make my bow, make a knife, and make some arrows, it'll be good. And now I've got some basic weapons, very handy. Okay, I'm going to deploy this. Uh, I was going to deploy this inside this rock. Give me a bit of um, a little bit of shelter from the storm if it starts raining. Let's dig it out a bit. Let's try and deploy it again. There we go. Okay, great. Now, I, if I get something, I can cook it here. And if it rains, it won't just go out the whole time. Because it's under the rock. Well, that's the theory. Okay. Let's go have a look to see if we can hunt something while it's still light. See what's around. A large deer. It's a rare of us, so we're not going to sneak on it. No. Not too successful. Large deers, you're not going to kill easily. Um, unless it's kind of a sneak attack. And you saw there was that little yellow square above his head, so he kind of saw me, so it was a little of a waste, but I'd like to track him down and he's not hurt and pain and dying and, and that's a buffalo. All the concerns might have been a bear. But no, just the buffalo. Um, I'm not going to try hunt the buffalo. What it means is you need uh, a better tear knife to actually skin them so it's kind of pointless. And there, deer has gone. Not around. I don't see him. Okay, let's see if we can... Perhaps... See anything up here? Then you would like to find some walls. Um, you should be careful here near the uh, 
great dam, as it were, lake. There are crocodiles around. Can be quite nasty in the early game. Yeah, you can outrun them, so they're not deadly, but you do need to be careful out Watch out for them, you need to be careful out for them. Oh my word. What is this? Oh, some sulfur. Sulfur deposit back for us. Carry on that oxide when you see it. There are big oxide nodes, it's, it's strictly necessary, but it's like that one over there. But we, we will need it. Oh, that noise is my berries running out, so let's grab some of the berries. And we carry on hunting. Yeah, wolfy, wolfy, wolfy. No, nothing. Um, I seem to feel that we found more wolves around this area previously. No. No. Parity type bird, a Kia. Uh, there's another one. Uh, you see the wolf? No? Oh dear, there's some rain coming in. Some showers. Fall for home? Yes. Um, little chamois, little buck, I don't think they'll have fur. And it's raining with a bit of a pain, it's just not a heavy storm, so it shouldn't cause us too much of a problem. Um, but if we have the um, First tier of shelter, the back shield shelter, just about anything destroys that. Um, maybe not the lightest rain, but just about anything else. Um, what I may do is try to push through to level 5 and get the wooden stuff rather instead of wasting points on thatch, which you kind of never get into this again, other than right in the beginning. Um, is a bit of a pain in the early days, but we can get through that. Hunting wolves in the rain. It's another great way to start. Oh, there you see a bit of storm exposure coming up. So we want to get into some sort of shelter. Now, this is the reason I carved it little hidey hole out of the rock is the only we can jump in there. I'm gonna head my way back there. Ah there's a roof. Um, oh good shot. Oh, shit. Okay. Quiet fur. The other thing is, once you've killed it, use your pickaxe to get rid of the bones. You get a slightly higher, um... You get it's a slightly... <laughs> you get more bones with it, and also it doesn't destroy your knife as much. You can chop it up with your knife, but... Uh, I'm not, not that uh, great. Okay. This uh, storm exposure is going to work hard. Also need some water. I'm going to drink some water from the river and just... No. 
No poison. Good stuff. Okay. Then we can start feeding the storming process, making it a bit slower. Hinting a bit. Okay. Let's get down to our shelter. There we go. I'm holding the rock. Are we climbing here? There we go. Our scum says it's going down. Could we shelter on the rock? Over we here, once I get into our inventory, grab, let's split the stack in half, grab some of this oxide and put it here. We can consume one if you like, and we'll just increase this. We fill our oxygen, which was getting a bit low. Storm exposure going down. Storm nearly over. Well, let's test out our fires and see if it works in the rain. We've got some meat. We can do that. We'll throw that on the fire. And some logs activate that. Yeah, fire can burn all nicely without going out with the rain. And the rain's nearly over. Oh, meat's nearly cooked. Oh, we've got some soybean. Let's consume that as well. I didn't even realize we picked that up. Deactivate activate the fire again. It's not to waste wood. Okay. We can eat some of that as well. We'll see our maximum health bar went up a bit there. Great. Okay. Let's see if we can find some more things to hunt. Good for increasing our level and hopefully to get some more uh, fur. Let's see if there's any more walls around this area. We have found one. Can I spawn more around here then? Oh, there we go. Oh! Oh, good. Got him just as he was charging in there. And another five. Nice. Now, I think I heard... A um, uh, monitor list, a uh, guan or something. Heard that hissing sound. Uh, those things are a bit of a pain, they always want to come and steal your, your kills, you know, no, okay, two more talent points, um, we can put those perhaps into stamina, stamina is, as I said, always good in the beginning, Um, maximum health. Yeah, we'll do the stem thing. Three more points here. We want to get our bed roll. That's going to be quite important. Um, not, not sure. Um, if you look down here, this is the thatch I was explaining about earlier. You could get the thatch beam and a floor and then do kind of a basic shelter. But when you get to level 5, you can use the wood, and that's just far more robust. This thatch just falls apart in no time. Um, we need things like the oxidizer, which will help getting oxygen hugely. And a small wooden crate, maybe. Um, but I'm not sure. You might need the torches if, we, uh, if it becomes dark. Before we can get another, you know, enough for a bedroll to skip the evening. 
Um, I'm just going to have to see if we can get that um, bedroll under the rock kind of thing. A little bit sheltered. See if that's possible. Um, so what I'm going to do is leave those points until I show what I need to do with them. Is that a wolf over there I see on that side? I see something. This one is running is not the best hunting method. I believe I saw something moving here. Great today. Hmm, let's carry on looking around here for another wolf. They seem to they they do seem to spawn in this area, just they, they spawn all over the place, and I seem to have good luck finding them around here. Anything? No? Nice high vantage point. Oh, there's one. But it's a bear. There's a bear. No. Do I take on the bear? Oh. It seems like that's a good option. If you take on the bear, you need to. Whoa! Not that. You need to run past it. Shoot it in the face. 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 Oh, is all jousting. It will kill you very quickly. Otherwise, yes! Okay, a little bit stressful. Not gonna lie. 12. Excellent. Okay. We all have fur. I wasn't expecting a bear, to be honest. Really was not expecting a bear. And oh, there's that roof. Yes. Take out. Whoa, good stealth attack. Okay. Wolf. Now, oh, whoa, uh, a jaguar. Uh, that's no good. Uh, he doesn't seem to be able to get me, so from up here, this seems to be a very dangerous area today. Just about everything wants to kill me. Put a level up, and we've got a broken knife. So let's just 
when I click repair it's all those and get back to our kind of base area well I, I guess that was kind of be careful what you wish for Okay, back to our base area. Oh. Jump on a rock. Oh, we'll try to jump on it. Oh, really? Okay, jump on a rock while we're doing things. A little bit of safety. Um. Gonna put some oxygen in there. We will be able to craft and we need some more fiber. Um, in the tech tree, we've got six points available, but what we're going to need is we're gonna need. Oh, we need level five for that. We've got a deep wound and we're gonna need to get a suture kit for that. And in the meantime, we've got health regeneration problems maximum health and maximum stamina those problems as well um oh get some more soya there um that's a bit of an issue um where are we going to go from here Yeah. Decrease food spoiling, that might be an idea. Getting down this, although we actually need this tree here, there's the more stamina before we can get down here. We do need a couple of points in there. Um, we've now got five points available. Should be quite handy, but I'm going to hang off using those right now. Let's so we decide what we can we need to do with them. In the meantime, I'm going to get these small bushes to get our thatch up. And see if we can craft a bedroll. Yes, there we go. Which will be very handy. Let's put it down here just for the ease of being able to. Um, so we can put it out too steep, no shelter. Okay. So we need to try and get it in here. So we've got shelter because it needs to be in shelter. We're able to skip an evening. We need to dig out a, a bigger area for it without going through to the other side and destroying the whole shelter. That is a tricky proposition. So it's the other ground. Look for little spots. See if we can find a spot somewhere for it. No, colliding, colliding, colliding. No. To look around sometimes there's tiny little spots somewhere just causing the problems I 
I saw somebody in there. There, there we go. We now have a spawn point and a place to sleep. Um, we need to have a fire going for it to go, so we activate the fire. Put our meat on. Cook. And with it getting dark, oh, there's the sun going down as we speak. What we can do now, we can sleep to the next morning. Down to get out. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. And there we have it. Mission successful. We've been able to avoid the darkness of night. Got a bit of meat cooked. Great stuff. With the soy here, so you don't forget it either. Um, Paint our inventory and um, we've still got some cooked meat from previously. We'll consume some of the berries and some of the soya. And we're on level 3. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is craft go to the text tree and unlock um, this oxidizer and I'm going to unlock the small wooden crate as well now the reason I want to the oxidizer if I build one it is far 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 more efficient In, um, in getting your oxygen sorted up, I'll put it here by the fire for now. Now, I am going to have to pick this up every time um, it rains, otherwise it's going to get destroyed. Um, but what I will do is you press E there, I'll add two oxides because my oxygen is a bit low. And what it'll do, it'll start producing oxygen, then you go to the bag. There we go, we can get some oxygen. Okay, don't put too much oxide in it because it's um, it's just going to be wasted. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft... No, I'm going to cut down the tree first and I'm going to craft a small wooden chest. Um, again, we we'll have to pick it up in heavy weather otherwise it's just going to get destroyed um, however it means I can put stuff in my inventory and give me more space when I'm chopping wood and that kind of stuff chopping wood and mining is a good way of getting uh, early experience um, and you can also build those stacks you don't have to put them in the soil stacks don't care about the weather so you can stockpile some wood and it's a good to have wood because when you start um, being able to build a base it's nice we have some wood that's pre-cut and that will be great um, you'll also notice when you chop down the tree you call it experience do you have any experience points for chopping a tree? a hundred every time you each kind of segment block that you do that's great um, I don't think you should also look out for I haven't seen yet there's some wild pigs, wart hogs see what those are called because you can get bacon from them bacon is one of my favourite food sources in the early game because it gives you extra experience and that extra experience, the extra 10% every time really helps a lot ok, so what I'm going to do is create a small craft uh, there we go deploy that 
Um, get here somewhere. Saying no shelter. But it means I can put um, bones and wood. Let's see. All the stuff that I'm not using right now. Okay, it's not. It's not huge, but it does mean I don't have to carry around everything. Okay. Um, I need water again. Again, drinking from the river is not a great idea, but because we may get parasites. But okay, we were lucky. Um, when you get the tech, it's always a good idea to get the um, the water purifiers and things like that, which allow you to um, get clean water instead of running the risk all the time of some sort of disease. And okay, we'll carry on with our our kind of barrier of these and go to chop down a bit more wood and go to the fire there we go this is all cooked this here in the hot bar we don't have to waste any more wood cooking nothing I also quite like having the, um, the, the, the food stuff on the hot bar because you can glance down the whole time and see its spoil rate. A little bit of a grind getting this done. Do you realize that? Chopping wood is not the most exciting. Maybe, Maybe, I'll... Maybe I should edit all the wood chopping out. Maybe let me know. You want to watch the whole uncut version or if I should chop out grindy things like chopping down trees. With my stone axe. Now, there's a little bit of confusion. We've been sent to this new planet. Obviously, spent a lot of money getting us here. Millions, trillions. But um, they can put us in a spaceship, they can send us all the way here, but. Uh, they can't give you any equipment and the people that are there don't initially know even how to make a fire. Hmm. So I'm, I'm going to assume these, Helen, these people are kind of expendable. You know, they the little pods. Not, not that their pods are incredibly fancy, if you see me, but... Uh, whoa! Okay, that was a bit of a surprise. Okay, that's being a bit hungry and we've run out of the effect of it, so let's get some more stuff to eat. Okay, um, chopping more tea. That uh, tree when it's like that, you have to be very careful of it because uh, they can very definitely uh, land on your head and hurt you. Um, you can kill by one, seriously injured though. This is really not good having things fall in your head. Okay. What is our weight for? Our weight is that we're pretty heavy. Okay. So let's... We can have four of these. 
which will make us kind of heavy. Seems in this game, carrying all the wood pieces is lighter than putting it together. Maybe, maybe that's simulating encumbrance. You know, it's quite, quite cumbersome to to carry them once they're all in a stack like that. But as opposed to a hundred loose pieces of wood, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. There we go. Now this isn't great protection, it just it does discourage uh, people, people, wolves and things walking through. Perhaps. Oh, we need to repair the net. Right click repair, takes a stone. Yeah. Got a nice repair fence. Um, I like to chop the trees down around where I am because of the eco passes. Because when storms come about, usually the attract lightning and fires and everything burns down around you. Or you'll start building it, your building, get it all up and nice. And then there's a windstorm and the wind blows some trees on top of your shelter and just destroys them, which is never fun. Okay. And we've got another tree down. Okay. Another reason for clearing this is that when you're home, you're able to see small animals. I can't have small animals. You can see animals. Uh, bears and jaguars. Kinds of beasties that want to eat you. A lot easier, which is makes it good for you know, protection and hunting. Also, it's kind of human nature, isn't it? Find a beautiful new pristine world, and the first thing you want to do is destroy it, industrialize it. I mean, we came here out as a prospect. We can't say that, you know, oh, we don't have a choice. We have a choice, we've got a came with a tent. They could have sent us with a tent. Oh, that could be too easy. Oh, oh that's a bit weird. Yeah, avoiding picking up the merry gold. Just oh, don't want to waste it. Be more thrifty and what? Probably unnecessary. And, and, and to be honest, it's maybe not that bright because obviously that kind of stuff gives you 25 experience. So just running through picking things up is actually a way of getting experience and you can kind of drop it while you're there. But, uh, hmm. Not particularly uh, but wasteful. Okay. Increase our pile. Gap and yeah, let's do that. Mm. 
Oh, I think they put on top. Oh, third one on top. Why not? A little gap in between. Okay. Um, grab some pumpkins. Over here. Some good food stuff. Oh, yeah, this Komodo, this is what I was talking about earlier, not terribly aggressive, but they are poisonous, if you attack them they'll fight back, yes you stay away from me, and um, but they won't get out of their way to attack you, unless of course you've just killed some, then they will want to use it. And they'll come and fight you for it. So you be aware of those when you are uh, you're out hunting, especially. Another tree. Here we go. You leveled up. Okay, we've leveled up, um, and it seems we also have a festering wound, um, because we haven't been able to fix that deep wound yet, which is a bit of a pain. Um, you know, I can try craft a bandage. But I really don't think that's going to help. No, we need antiparasitics. Antiparasitics are here, and we need level 5. Um, so it seems that that bear has really done one over for us. And we do have 6 points available. I'm going to get the wood red torch because we're going to need that um, and the wood hammer which allows you to repair things um, I'm going to need that if I forget about my wooden crate or something outside otherwise I'll leave those other four for now um, so we can get things once level five unlocks Um, we've got two points available. Could we use amounts of food spoiling more? What I might do put a point in here, which not a terrible game, but it will allow me to see animal health bars, um, which is great to see. You no, know, how far the, an animal is, you know, when you're hunting it. But it also means that it helps you spot them a little bit more in the pelts, in the in the pelts, in the in the bush. Okay, um, seven points. Do we need some sort of combat? Um, I'm thinking these might be handy, getting more bang for our buck when we're mining. 
I'm going to get this which increases our stamina regeneration and maybe go down here a bit. Okay. So we're doing okay. We've got a basic little campsite, as it were. Um, we're heading into storms for the next three days. If you look at the storm three-day forecast, um, we've got a deep wound, which is festering at the moment. So not in the greatest point. We do have our spawn point and a couple of things going. So a fairly okay start to, to this. But I think I'm going to call it that for the first, um, I see that the time's getting on now. I'm going to call that as a first episode, and I'll see you next time, where hopefully we can get to the last, um, we can get to the last, we can get to the next uh, level, which will be um, level 5, and we'll be able to start building our base. But for now, I think we've got a good start, and... I'll see you next time. So this is rather be doing this and I'd rather be playing Icarus, but it's time to go. So bye for now.